Right, so that's gone straight into notch two or three, rather than notching each single step right. out. And if you noticed, I didn't touch the throttle there, but it dropped down. Now, because I quickly accelerated that throttle up, it went up to roughly about notch four, like I've taken the throttle and I've, I'm pulling a cut of cars, I wanna get it up to speed. Now, when it realized that the throttle wasn't moving at the rate of speed that the sound was playing, it caught itself and brought itself back down. Mm. So that's all built into the sound file. So you can hear that, that up and down motion based on, first off, what you want to do, what the sound file should be doing, what the prototype should be doing at that rate. Um, there's a lot built in behind the scenes that, that's going on. Now, we, we heard it drop down uh, quickly, we heard it go up quickly. If you just slowly move the throttle up and down, you'll hear it'll just slowly go up and down through the throttles, just like most decoders that are on the market. One of the problems with a lot of the decoders that are out there is that after a short period of time, they become monotonous. Uh, they can be very predictable. Mm -hmm. You know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen. With doing what we've done with this file, it gets rid of a lot of that preddictability and, and monotony. So It reacts um, more realistically to your inputs on the exactly, throttle rather exactly. than just being an algorithm. Right. Yeah, very nice.